Sweet. All right. Well, Emma, firstly, just how you enjoyed the last couple of weeks getting to start, especially mm -hmm. up front? Yeah, I mean, it's been good being back in my original position. Um, I've really enjoyed playing in the middle and connecting up with the other players in the team. Um, I think we've been doing really well. Uh, getting a win against Sydney FC as well, which was awesome. Like on the road, it felt so much better to be traveling when you win a game rather than coming back once you've lost. So um, yeah, really enjoying it and enjoying being up there and working with the players around me. Yeah. We've seen you play in a number of positions this season, but where do you feel most comfortable along that front line or attacking midfield? Uh, definitely central, so either yeah, a 9 or a 10 attacking mid or a striker, I think that's where you can get the best out of me. Um, I think I can hold the ball up and lay it off to others as well as like play balls in behind or get into the box and score goals. So um, yeah, hoping to be able to help the team score some goals this weekend and hopefully in the other two games as well. Yeah, is that the missing ingredient, not just for you, but yep. for, for the whole team, scoring goals and converting those opportunities? Yeah, absolutely. I think for a lot of the time we worked on a lot of defensive play and trying, you know, all of, I guess, to play as a defensive team. Um, I think now that we've kind of aced that or are getting better at that, we have the opportunity now to focus on attacking, which we haven't been able to do. Um, so now that we can actually put time into it and actually you know, focus on like, are the crosses going to the right places? Are people making the runs to the right places? Are we getting enough people in the box? Everything like that. I think coming into these last three games, once we've done a bit of work on that, we can absolutely execute these, these goals. But I think that's a major missing thing that we've had all season. And um, yeah, we need to score. There's, you know, you can have position as much as you want, but you have to score goals to win games, so yeah. What was the feeling like after the game at the weekend, after creating so mm -hmm. much, having so many shots, yeah. but coming to that close defeat? Uh, I think everybody was just gutted. It felt like we had the game, we were asleep for the first 20 minutes, 100%, but I think after that is when we started to get our, our feet and um, play the ball around, and I think we actually had a lot more position than them as well and created so many more opportunities but that's the thing it's like you can create these opportunities but you need to finish them and I think maybe just from past experience of people too with last season and stuff like too afraid to shoot in the box because you know maybe we just don't have that confidence to do so um, but yeah I think now that we're coming into these last three games and now that we can show that we can play with the ball and keep position and everything like that against these teams, I think it's important that we can convert and stay composed and actually um, finish, these, finish these goals because everybody was just yeah, really gutted after that game. Is that something you do as a senior player as well, mm -hmm. get around some of those more inexperienced players and, and say, you know, just, just back yourself in that yeah. final third? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, for me, as soon as I see the goal, I want to shoot. That's like kind of what I've been like throughout my whole career. Um, but yeah, just trying to help them and just say like, you know, if you're around that box, have a shot, like crack one, have confidence that you can do it because a lot of these girls can hit great balls um, and get great power behind it. Um, so it's just, I think it is a confidence thing as well. So um, yeah, just, I, I try my best to try and help them and just encourage them to do so, yeah. And you mentioned the big week ahead for the club. It's mm -hmm. crazy to think in what, 10 days, yeah. the season's over. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> I feel like it's been, it feels like a quick season and a long season all in one. Um, but yeah, three games in, in one week is a way to finish. So um, yeah, I think it'll be re really, really good. Um, the girls are kind of feeling it now, you know, as you come towards the end of the season and stuff. But I think it'll be great to celebrate once we've all finished um, and kind of reward, have those rewards. Um, because we should be proud of ourselves. I think we still have a lot more to give um, and a lot more to do performance wise as well. So it's just about getting back out there, being proud of ourselves, finishing on a high and, and showing that we can actually play against these teams, yeah. Physically, how, how are you given you obviously managing your back mm -hmm. problem, three games in, in eight days? Is yeah. that gonna be a bit of a test? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, when I was in Norway last season, we had five games in two weeks. So it was, you know, it was like a Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday kind of thing. So I, I haven't not been in this position before. I've, I've had experience doing that and everything. So I think having that behind me is really, really good. Um, but yeah, it's a test for my back since I've had that kind of setback. Um, but I've been making very good progress. I'm progressing really, really well. I've been back in the gym lifting weights. Um, I'm not getting that same nerve pain down my legs to the extent that it was. Um, so working at the chronic pain clinic as well and just doing a whole bunch of stuff has really helped get me 
back into a better physical condition and I, I think I can see that on the field. I can move more free, I can actually run a bit better and everything like that because obviously that, that just limits you so much um, and I guess you don't really realise until you have it that it's, it's so limiting but um, yeah, I'm actually feeling, my body's feeling good, I'm feeling ready to take on the three games so I so bring it on. Obviously, it starts with Newcastle. How big is that game in particular, given mm -hmm. that they're the closest rivals yep. on the table at the moment? It's massive. I think we know going into this game that this is a must win. And, and it's kind of like the end of It's like we need to come in. We need to focus on um, being composed and scoring goals, but also not giving away silly mistakes or silly goals or corners or anything like that. Um, this is a massive game. We, we, we want to win this. We know that if we can win this, we can get off bottom of the table. Um, we would love to keep moving up the table as well and f finish strong, as I said before. Like It would be great to finish these three games on a high um, and win them all. But um, we're going to go into this Newcastle game like really fighting. Yep. You think that's achievable, getting three wins over the last three games? Absolutely. I think anything's possible. I think um, when you go into a game, it's definitely who turns up on a day. You know, I think that any team can beat any team. It's just you have to be have the right mindset. You've got to go in and you have to be prepared to work hard. Um, so yeah, I think it's definitely achievable. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy, especially with the travel we've got and all of those. But I mean, those are just excuses at the end of the day. You can't blame anything like that. You just have to deal with it and get on. And other teams have had similar things happen. So it's just, yeah, we get on with it and we, we play the games.